everyone, I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Tulip Afghan Square and this is week three in the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. So welcome if it's your first time, uh, if you've been working on this crochet along pattern with me, also welcome. All the information for this crochet along can be found in the description of this video and on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. This is a photo here. There's many more photos on my blog of this blanket that we are working on. It's a stitch sampler blanket. So this is the square that we are going to be working on today. This is called the tulip stitch. And you can see if you're familiar with other stitches in crochet, it does look a lot like a C to C or corner to corner stitch. Uh, but this one is worked in rows back and forth. It's not worked corner to corner, but it still gives you that same effect. It's comprised of double crochet stitches and single crochet stitches. It is a one row repeat. So hopefully this one will be fairly easy for you and work up quite quickly. It is the same on the front and the back. So this is a square we're going to look at again. Uh, once uh, all the um, all the information for this crochet along are located in the description of this video through that link to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'll also have a separate link there for the written instructions for this particular Afghan square. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. And again, all the materials can be found there on my blog. So um, why don't we grab our hook and our yarn and we'll get started learning how to crochet this tulip stitch Afghan square together. If it is your first time to my channel or you've been here before but haven't yet already, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and as well make sure you hit that little bell to ensure that you're receiving notifications for whenever a new pattern or stitch tutorial is posted, which is weekly. So today for our tulip stitch afghan square, we're going to start by making our slip knot and we're going to make a chain of 41 chains. If you are using the similar colors to mine or you're using two colors for the entire blanket, you're going to want to make three squares in your off-white color, your color A, and three squares in your uh, gray color, your color B. This pattern is worked in rows and if you would like to change the size of your square, you're going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches plus five. So today I am going to chain a total of 41. There's 40 and 41. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to work, begin your first row by working three double crochet stitches into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five. Into that fifth chain, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. Next, skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and into that next chain, you're going to work a single crochet. Chain three. And now work three double crochet stitches into the same chain as your last single crochet stitch. So right back into that same chain, work three double crochet stitches. Skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and into that next chain, work a single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat, beginning with your chain three, three double crochets into the same chain as your single crochet stitch. Skip 
skip three chains and single crochet into the next and repeat chain three three double crochet into the same chain skip three chains and single crochet into the next stitch repeat that all the way across At the end of row one, you're going to chain four and you're going to turn your work. Now, as I mentioned, it is a one row repeat. So this is the row that you're going to want uh, to pay close attention to because this is the row that you're going to repeat for the majority of your square. So what you're going to do is you're going to begin by working three double crochet stitches into the first chain of your chain four. So if you look down here at the bottom, you have that first chain there. You're going to work three double crochet stitches into that chain. So into the first chain of your chain four. You're going to then skip the single crochet and the three double crochet stitches. And you're going to single crochet into that chain three space. So you have this chain three here. You're going to work your single crochet just into that chain three space. Then chain three and work three double crochet stitches into that same space. Skip the single crochet, the three double crochet, into your next chain three space, work a single crochet, chain three, and three double crochet stitches all into the same space. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Into the next chain three space, single crochet, chain three, and three double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across, working your final single crochet stitch into the chain four space, your beginning chain four. my final single crochet into that starting chain four. And then once you've completed row two, you're then going to chain four and turn your work. So you're now going to continue to repeat that last row. So working your three double crochet stitches into that first chain of your chain four. Then skipping all the work in between, you're going to single crochet into that first chain three space, then chain three, and work three double crochets. So you're going to repeat that until your work from the beginning measures approximately 10 inches or until uh, you've reached the size that you desire. And then at that time, we're going to work one more row simply to fill in up here a little bit to make our afghan square a square. So once you have worked your square to 10 inches of the tulip stitch or thereabouts, um, and I haven't on my sample here, but I want to move on and just show you how to complete that last row. So you're going to have this uh, rough edge up here and we want to straighten it out. So what you're going to do for your next row is you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into that same stitch. So just into the single crochet, work two double crochet stitches. 
then you're going to skip those three double crochets and single crochet into the chain three space. Next, into the single crochet, you're going to work three double crochet stitches. And we're now going to repeat. Skip the next three double crochet, single crochet into your chain three space, and work three double crochets into your single crochet stitch. Skip the three double crochet, single crochet into the chain three space. You're going to repeat that all the way across and then you're going to work a single crochet stitch into your final chain four. So work your final single crochet into that chain four space and if you look across you should now have a nice straight edging. Once your square is complete you're then going to fasten off and go ahead and work your simple single crochet edging all the way around. So once you have your tulip stitch square completed, you'll have an item that looks like this in front of you. Then to make it easier to join, if you are working the spring stitches throw, what I did was I worked a single, simple single crochet edging all the way around the edge of my square simply because I'm going to be crocheting them together. It just gave it me a more even edge to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch into the top right corner. And then you're going to work across this top edge 39 single crochet stitches. Now uh, in this blanket you will know that a couple some of the squares are a little bit bigger, some are a little bit smaller. So you might not be working a single crochet in every stitch, or you might be working two single crochet stitches into a stitch. Uh, the important thing is that you have 39 single crochet stitches across each edge. You can adjust that number if you're working this throw or if you're working another throw and using this square with it. Uh, just make sure that each of your squares is consistent and then uh, it'll be easier to join. So you're just going to work 39 single crochet stitches across the top of your square. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to want to work three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch. So 39 stitches across the top and then three into your corner and that's going to bring you to along the uh, rough side. You're then going to do the same. Once again, work 39 single crochet stitches across this rough edge. Now here there are no uh, clear places where to place your hook, so it's really up to you. Um, I was working uh, one single crochet into each of these single spaces here, and then three into my double crochet. Um, but regardless, you're just going to want 39 or the same number of stitches along this rough side. When you come to the next corner, you're going to work three stitches in your corner stitch. Turn your work, work another 39 single crochet stitches across, three in your corner, turn your work, 39 stitches across, three in your corner, and then you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Then if you're working the spring stitches throw, you're going to work five more squares of the tulip stitch along with your single crochet edging. Block them if desired and then set aside uh, until you're ready to crochet your blocks together. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.